So guys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Topic Thursday or Tutorial Thursday, even though I'm uploading this on a Saturday. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a similar look that Jacob uses in his photos. Now for those of you that don't know, Jacob is a really popular Instagram um, photographer. He's known for his photographs to be phenomenal and the colours that he chooses are very particular and I'm going to try and replicate this and show you how to get the same look he uses in his photos today. And you will be needing Lightroom but for those of you that want to know, I'm actually giving away the presets for free in the description below. So these are similar looks that Jacob uses and they're all for free and I've made these these with um, my friend Soham so um, thank you very much for the help I'll leave his stuff in the description below as well and yeah so just check out the description for the free presets and let's hop right into Lightroom and show you how to do it. Alright so now we can get started so I'm on Jacob's profile right now and just straight off the bat I can tell he goes for two types of color schemes so this is the teal and orange type look that he likes to go for and these are mainly sunset type photos and if you do have any sunset pictures then th these will go really well with the tutorial that I'm showing you today and what else so he does really like to use his oranges like I mentioned before but then he has these blue type of images so they're really nice on the light blues he's brought on down the highlights added a bit of contrast and that's also what I'm going to be showing you today so we're going to try and replicate this image right here so hop into Lightroom right now I've reset my image in Lightroom and I'm going to show you how to match this light blue look that Jacob goes for so hop into Lightroom and adjust the temperature a bit to the left so I'm adjusting it a bit to the left right here so that seems fine you don't want to go all the way because then it's too unrealistic you just want to go to about I'd say there all right cool so the exposure brings up the brightness for every single bit in the picture so um, I just want to add just add a little bit of exposure if your image if your image already is underexposed if it's fine and you find by how it looks then just leave it the same now in terms of contrast I would say bump it up 30 to 40 will be fine there we go and the image is starting to pop a bit more. Now highlights, highlights is what Jacob likes to use. So he actually brings down the highlights all the way, I do believe. And the reason being is because you can see all the clouds in his images. So let's just bring them all the way down. And as you can see right here, the clouds are being are being a bit more visible right now. Now I did sh shoot this on a cloudy day, so the clouds can't really be visible that much. However, it has brought out the clouds a lot more. So in terms of shadows, shadows you could max out if you wanted to. I'm gonna max it out for this photo, it's up to you. And in terms of the blacks, I'd leave the whites the same. You don't really need to mess about with them too much for this type of image. And the blacks, I'd say increase them just a little bit like that. Now we can add a bit of clarity because as you can see in this image, there's a lot of clarity, there's a lot of vibrance. So we're gonna try and do that as well. So clarity, I'm gonna add a bit. Clarity I've left at 15 and vibrance I'm gonna leave at 10. So we've done most of the adjustments for the photo already and this is where it's gonna pop even more. So go down all the way to camera calibration. And a lot of people like to mess about with um, right here, this little HSL bit in Lightroom. However, I actually really like to go for camera calibration and try and get the colors out of it from here. So for the reds, I would say max them out and add a bit of saturation right here. You can go for 20 if you want. And now this is where you're gonna see the blues come together. So reduce the hue all the way to minus 100 and as you can tell literally we've already got the look yeah so this is the image right here and that's the image and we can add a bit of vibrance let's say i want to add a little bit more vibrance in the image so i've adjusted the vibrance and saturation just to match that look as best as i can and there we go look at that that is that looks really really awesome in my opinion and then you can press this button and see the before and after and that looks phenomenal and there we have it i've matched the blues for the color that jacob really likes to go for we've matched a blue type of look and i'm going to show you how to get the orange look that jacob goes for so this is the orange look that he really likes to go for while it's loading i'm going to show you what i mean this is another really awesome image which i do really like and these are the orange type images that Jacob goes for and I've matched it right here in this color scheme so I've left the preset in the description below but if we go into the editing I'm gonna just quickly talk about what I've done I've increased the temperature a lot and these will vary based on your images because let's say for example I have this image and I import preset 2 let's say so straight off the bat you can tell the color scheme looks really off but once it's loaded I'm gonna show you all you need to do is increase the temperature a bit so let's say let's just pull it here 
yeah, there we go. It looks really awesome from there. So that's how you use the presets. You just import them, mess about with the temperature, and you can adjust the exposure, everything. The only thing I would say to leave it alone is um, probably the color scheme because that's what I've matched the most. But you can play around with it, have a go at what you want, and just learn. Just learn Lightroom and just figure it out on how to use it. But that is how to match the look that Jacob goes for. All right, so that wraps it up for today's video. It would mean a lot if you could just hit that subscribe button if I did teach you or help you out in some way in today's video. Just hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 30,000 subscribers, so it would mean a lot. Also, make sure to leave a like on today's video and follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to up my Instagram game and I'm posting every single week on it, so definitely check me out on there. Now, this week's shout out goes to this guy on screen right now. If you want to shout out in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below, hashtag fur, and I'll pick a winner from last week's video onto the next one. So, yeah, that wraps it up. Anyway, guys, I'm Hamza from Super Action Video and I'll talk to you in the next one. Later, guys. Bye.